Robin Majors, and today we're doing a bonus video DIY make your own chalkboard. So um, I hope you guys like it. Um, so let's get started. So you're going to want to. Uh, I went to the thrift store and bought this picture for seven bucks. Um, the nice thing about getting them from the thrift store is it's already got the stuff to hang it, like, screwed in, so, you know, that's a bonus. Plus, it was, like, $7 for this gigantic picture that we're going to turn into a chalkboard. Um, you're going to want to clean it, get some glass cleaner, you know, clean the glass, clean... Uh, the frame, if you're getting it from the thrift store, it might have been sitting for a while, it might be dusty. Oh, sorry. But, you know, so you're going to want to clean that. And then you're going to want to, let me see if I can get this in better. You're going to want to tape off the frame, you know, so that you don't have uh, chalkboard paint on the frame. Oh, and let's just go over a list of supplies. Obviously, you're going to want uh, a picture, you know, thrift store, some uh, painter's tape because it is less sticky than other tape and it shouldn't mess up your uh, frame when you peel it off. I got a roller with uh, this particular roller is like foam it's for super smooth surface so hopefully that will work well and just something to get like around the edges a little foam and of course some chalkboard paint in a black finish I believe they have other ones and frankly if you have any kind of like semi gloss or uh, satin paint you paint a surface that uh, if it will stick to glass or whatever then usually you can write with it on chalk and uh, erase it pretty easily not on flat paint though it will it will uh, you know not come off of flat paint very well just a little tip there I've never used this paint before so um, this is my first time trying this but I'm hoping it turns out really cute uh, you know nothing better than a framed chalkboard uh, looking all cute so I just found when I was taping it this morning that it was a little easier when I have it like this, I could just really see what I was doing. If you just line it up with the edge of the frame, you're definitely gonna run a your nail over it. Get that you know, edge sealed. Make sure you're not making a lip. It was just easier to work in uh, smaller sections. I could get it up against the glass a little better. Have a better drying time is 30 minutes to touch, two hours to handle, and two to four fully dry. Uh, and you can recoat it after four hours. And just clean up your brushes with uh, soap and water. So, okay, so I went ahead and just did a long piece to finish off covering up the rest of the frame. And I'm just going to take the little one and kind of go in and do right at the edges all the way around and then uh, start on actually rolling just that way so I know it's covered well. That's another reason you want to make sure your edges are covered. Uh, the tape is really stuck down. Definitely need more than 
better coat, like smoother if you did a spray paint versus the brush, or I mean the roller, you know, I definitely thought about it. I just didn't think that the spraying in my apartment was going to be like all that great. So it's the next day, it's had plenty of time to dry, and I'm going to, I did two coats, I'm thinking that's probably good, um, so I'm going to take that off, so it's going to be really quick. So I think I'm going to do Okay, I think I'm going to run uh, Just to make sure that it does Peels off smooth Just because I started to peel it off And uh, it was Pulling up a little bit shoot an outro but this is the final product i think it came out amazing it was under twenty dollars or right around twenty dollars uh total for the project super fast super easy highly recommend it um stay crafting beautifuls i love you so much bye